is this recording yeah it is hey guys gpong3789 here recording another video on the ninja handbook uh yeah sorry i haven't been posting a lot of videos i've taken a break from jack and dex just because i'm moving i'm in the midst of moving um packing boxes i'm actually moving this weekend so i'm really excited going to florida yeah so yeah finally gonna learn how to surf from near Florida, I'm gonna check out Disney World, all that crap. But while I'm gone, until I get internet in my apartment, I am gonna leave a ninja handbook in the trusty hands of my two closest friends, Ken and Alan. And I'm gonna apologize in advance for anything they do. That is bad. Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry in advance, guys, but I'm kidding. They, they should do a good job, hopefully. And I also have somebody I trust keeping an eye on them, too. I'm not telling them who it is, but I got somebody keeping an eye on them. Who is going to be uh, messaging me reports, but yeah. Anyway, um, back on topic. I'm making this video mainly because I want to make a video. Um, it's going to be a rambling video. I don't know if you guys can see I'm wearing my medallion. I usually wear this before I go out. I figured I'd wear it in a video this time, though. But, uh, yeah, this video is about loyalty. And we all know what loyalty is, right? Being loyal to somebody, like, always having their back. Never letting them down. Well, everybody lets somebody down at least once in a while, but all, most of the time having their back. That is loyalty. And people say, oh, I'm loyal, I'm loyal, I'm loyal. But the truth is, happy you aren't loyal. Or you know somebody that is not loyal. And really, if you want to be a true friend, you got to be loyal. You know, I'd be lying if I said I was loyal to every single person I met. Okay? I have screwed over my fair share of people to get what I wanted. I'm not proud of it. I don't support what I did. But I have done it. I can't change the past. In life, you can't ask, what if? Okay, you can't keep going on in life saying, what if I did this? What if I did this? No. you got to live in the present. You did it, it's over with, you gotta move on. And see, I tr I'm trying to change myself. I do not screw people over anymore. I've stopped for up close to... Well, I didn't even really screw people over in the past, really. Like, I screwed over a fair share, like maybe three, four people. A month, a year, whatever. I don't screw people over anymore, but... Uh, yeah, let's get back on top. Um... I already said to be a true friend, you had to be loyal, all that crap, but loyalty also comes in handy in life where it makes your word more valuable. Um, for example, um, loyal, if you're a loyal friend to somebody, they're more likely to take your word. And a man's word is everything. And I guess a, a woman's word is everything too. You know, I think the saying is a man's word is his pride or something, but yeah. That's, loyalty just affects everything. It affects your trust, it affects business, it affects everything in your life. What family members think of you, I mean, if you're loyal, they're most like, I'll probably still talk behind your back, but it might be some good stuff, like, oh, he's a really loyal friend. Oh, he's a really loyal family member. I'm actually going to tell you a story about loyalty. And uh, this is a story about my dad. Uh, he told me this uh, actually in the car today because I told him I was making this video. And I don't know, we were driving. Uh, we had to get some boxes for to pack my shit in. But uh, yeah, anyway, this is the story he told me. Him and his buddies are walking down at nighttime in a dark alley. Don't ask me why, but they're walking at night. And this gang comes out, starts beating them up. And well, pretty much my dad and his friends start running. But two of his friends get caught. So he runs back and tries to save them. Well, he gets hit with a crowbar and they start beating up on him and they let the other two go. Well, the other two start running away and just leave him. So that was a bitch-ass move, but anyway. Um, one person came back for him, my dad's best friend, Ed, and came and saved him. And, you know, that shows you who your true friends are because he became my dad's best friend right after that day because... That's what loyalty does. It earns you friendship. Now, let me tell you the rest of the story. Well, he gets home, my dad, and uh, bandages his head or whatever because he got hit with a crowbar, bleeding theft. Well, actually, no, I think he went to the hospital and then he went home. But anyway, 
uh, the guy's, my dad's other friend's dad came up with him, whatever, and went inside the house to see how my dad was, and the friend's dad just yelling at the kid, like, you left a fallen soldier on the ground, blah, 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 pretty much just saying how ashamed he was of his son, and I'd probably be too, if my son ran out on one of his friends when his friend got hit, I'd be like, dude, how can you even look at yourself in the mirror? Me, if, I'm gonna use Ken and Alan for this example. If someone ever tried to hurt them, I'd be coming after them with a freaking bat. You don't mess with my friends. And I'm taking this line from somebody I know on Skype, but I completely agree with it. At, an attack on my friends is an attack on me. And let me just, while well, on this subject, if anybody ever, like, Glenn bases one of my friends of a ninja handbook, which somebody actually has recently, I don't stand still. I'm not going to stand utterly by. You attack anybody that I know or are close to, you're doing an attack on me, and you don't want me as an enemy. But we're not enemies here. We're all friends. We're all family. Like I said, you guys are my YouTube family. I think of you guys are real family. But anyway, this is pretty much the topic I wanted to do for this video. Loyalty, the importance of loyalty. I don't trust a lot of people. I guess you can kind of say I'm pessimistic. I always picture the worst case scenario and everything, which can be good and bad, but really, I just in my life, I have been screwed over so many times. I've actually been screwed over by my own siblings. And I, let me tell the story. I'm on the subject. Might as well tell the story. Um, pretty much, my dad was adopted, got um, a bitch-ass mother or stepmother and a really good father, but he died when my dad was like, he already had my brother and sister at the time, but anyway, and I should say they're half brother and sister, but anyway, it turns out the old bat dies, and the money that was supposed to go to my dad, she leaves to my uh, brother and sister and writes me and my pop out of a will. My dad's like, oh man, well, share, share the money with your brother. Uh, they're like, no, money's more important than family. Walk away. I tried contacting them because my dad was so upset that they left the family. Like, yo, guys, come back. I mean, I don't care about the money. Just hang on with that. We don't have to have a relationship. I just want you to have one with that. So they come back and everything, but then my dad says about the war money again, how he wants them to share with me, and uh, they end up leaving again. You know, I got to wonder what the hell they're thinking about. I mean, seriously, family should be more important than money. And that's, that shows their loyalty. They have no loyalty. Oh, and uh, I have no idea if they watch my videos, but if you are watching my video and you should know if you're my real sibling or not, if I ever see you on the street, you better run the opposite direction. Just saying. And that's because if you... My dad, I consider one of my closest friends, and like I've said in the, previously in this video, an attack on my friend and his attack on me. And it's even more serious since it's family. And I don't consider you two family. Because loyalty. And this is another prime example of loyalty. Loyalty, um, because of them breaking my loyalty, I don't consider them family. And it's not even a small loyalty problem, it's a big loyalty problem. They literally said they have no loyalty to their family. And that's pretty much why I want to make this video. I just want to stress to my subscribers how important loyalty is and trust. And always being there for your friends and family. Anyway, I made my point. I'm going on repeating myself a little bit, I think. But anyway, this has been Gpong3789 recording on the Ninja Handbook, where my awesome shades and my awesome medallion. I'm going to zoom in on or go closer to the camera. I won this thing in a karate tournament, actually. Came in third place. But anyway, that was back in Jersey. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to be signing off. If you're actually wondering why I'm wearing the sunglasses, it's because my friend told me I need the, a gimmick or whatever, but yeah, I just love these sunglasses. I wear them to drive. I wear them to everything, so what the hell? I, I was going to wear my uh, director hat, but I'm saving it for my, uh, I will poop a new new one when he wear it, so uh, yeah, you should be seeing that different persona later on. Anyway, Gpong3789 signing off for real.